I am doing a half day STEM program with five of my colleagues from Construct Learning and my part is electricity, electrical engineering. So I had some things I was looking at and I already have some pieces parts but I've been looking at these kits that have some motors and some fans and some propellers and some gears. So I bought one. It's only $12. I think every STEM space, every maker space, every uh, inventor space, every free space should have something like this for kids to explore uh, electricity on their own. They're inexpensive. Again, $12. And what you get for it is you get six motors. There's the sixth one. Um, you get six things to hold the motors. You get six uh, AA battery holders that have a, a wire uh, free on the end. Um, you get six switches like that. You get some wheels. Now you only get four wheels. I don't know why because there's six motors. Um, uh, you get some propellers. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six propellers. And I'm assuming we get six uh, fans and then an assortment of gears. Uh, again, gears are a great thing for them to play with and see what happens. Uh, and then you also get some extra wires because you know these little leads on the motors aren't really that big. It's kind of hard to connect to. So this would mean you would have to solder. So someone might want to do that. They also have some shrink wrap, uh, shrink tubing for when you do that to cover it up. And they have some axles, extenders, for dealing with the gears, two of them. Um, there's some things I would recommend to add on, but for now, um, you've got to buy batteries. Batteries not included, yes. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, motor DC motors, yeah. You hook up a positive to one side, you hook up a negative to the other side, and they go. It's actually a pretty darn fast uh, DC motor. And kids learn that, you know, if you switch the leads, it goes the other direction. Um, I would recommend getting some alligator wires, some alligator clips to make the connections a little bit easier. So we're going to hook on... And that's all about fingers being able to grip the alligators. And then we can, and then they also get to learn that you know, every time you add wire, um, that's resistance. So the, the motor's not gonna go as fast. Yeah, there's no resistors in the kit. Um, see, we, we can't hear it as much. So, and we, we can't tell how fast it's going, but it doesn't sound as fast. So, um, and then it also makes adding that switch a little bit easier. So we put, because you can hook up to things. So I need another one. Here it is, the other one. Make sure they don't touch. That's why the that's why the plastic is on the alligator clips, and then we go connect it. And it shouldn't go because I think I have the switch off. Um, and then we flip the switch, and there it goes. So that's a nice little kit for them to explore. Twelve dollars. Um, you're going to have to add some alligator clips, which I mean, it can be like $5 for a pack. Get a bunch of them. That's just something that they're going to have to learn to work with. Um, so get alligator clips. And the other things I would add, just add some LEDs. Uh, for $10, you can buy a pack of 500 which are awesome to use with lots of other things too. So you got some LEDs. Um, and when you get LEDs, you might as well just get some uh, watch batteries because then they can start playing the difference between double A's 
and watch batteries and start talking about voltage and power and how long it lasts because one perfect experiment is to set up two motors um, one with uh, AA batteries and one with a, a watch battery and see which one lasts longer that's an important thing for them to learn and then a final thing I haven't played with in years because uh, I haven't used it in physics is this thing called a Genicon to add this one was $12 uh, the one flaw with plastic parts is that the gears inside if they spin this too fast too hard uh, the gears will just wear away. So this is what a Genicon does. Makes noise. Now, it shows us the question of, you know, do we make electricity or do we generate electricity? We generate it. Well, what is electricity? Again, you know, it's an electron just moving. Um, so this is showing us uh, that we're just making the electrons move, and it's got a nice little light in there to show you that it's doing it. But the other great thing is it's got hookup here, hookups here. Two alligator clips. Hey, look at that. Um, and then you hook those up to the motor. And again, fingers and alligator clips. And you. Yeah, I, get, I don't have a good place to sit that. I think I can sit that up. Maybe. Is that enough? Nope, not enough. Not high enough. Um, but you get the idea, because I kind of need two hands. Nope, don't have enough hands. Um, so they generate electricity. Um, they're not making it. They're generating it. And then you can talk about well, what happens if I try and run the motor without the light bulb. You know, it, we get to talk about resistance in there. Why is it easier? Why is it harder? Um, and you can throw these LEDs back in and hook them up. And lots of things that they can play with and just experiment and learn. You know, throw the switch in there too. So, so there's a neat little kit. I will put some links. Enjoy.